Hello and welcome to a new video related to Python topics. So today I will talk about something that I'm not sure that many of you are aware of, which is using slots in multiprocessing <coughs> in Python. So let's start with a basic example so we can see later the difference between using slots and without using slots. So we'll have firstly import statistics, which is already coming with your uh, Python package and then in order to see how it differs we need to import from memory profiler which you will have to install with pip you'll have to import memory usage and we will also need uh, time it which is also with your Python uh, packages I think that's pretty much or we can use also ice cream from ice cream import AC and we saw this in a previous video how it works is, is basically the same thing uh, as using a print statement but it's more professional let's say so let's create a class and we'll have class points without slots let's say and we'll create a function in it which will have self x and y and and this one will have just see that x equals to x and set that y equals to y come on enter button okay so <clears throat> until now i think uh, uh, let's see how it works so we'll have p points without slots and let's say 10 and 20 and we can do print p.x x or even we can use ac because that's why we imported it and ac p.y and now with the magic of python the bother we can see that Uh, which comes from p.wx and p.y and also what it's doing it's basically created a dictionary and if we hunt we can see it like p.dictionary and we can also print this statement and as you can see we have x with the value of 10 and y with the value of 20 so now that we know how it works we can delete this one or maybe i will just comment it out so let's create uh, let's define a new function which will be create points let's say and we'll return point points without slots and for i i just had a brain freeze sorry <laughs> so for i in range of one million let's say one to three okay and now we will need a range of 10 so we'll try this 10 times for the range of one million and we'll have memory usage and let's say without points without slots sorry or points whatever you want let's say points and this should be equal to memory usage create point and the interval should be 0 0.01 and then memory values which will append so we can compare later the memory usage without points okay and then we need to create a point which is equal to points with slots for one and two and we'll have time without slot and but let's change this to slots okay slots and we will have 
time it and time it and from lambda we'll have point dot x and point dot dot y hopefully it will work i have to think a little bit. it should work that way and the number should be also one million and we imported statistic for a good reason and we should use it so it should be statistics and mean from mem values but we didn't define it values yet I, I need to, to remember to define it and then statistics come on statistics start mean of time values and now we have to create mem values and, and time values right so we have mem mem time yes so mem values will be equal to an empty list and time values also equals to an empty list and now we should have the first yeah we, we can run it to have the first results in order to compare them okay free support ah, because it's not accepting multiple processing so if name equals equals main and we should Time values it requires at least one data point, and it doesn't have. I'm not sure why do we have this. Oh. Ah, but we didn't append the time values, so time values and the band for time without slots and now it should work ah, sorry for that okay so we have one uh, 67 and 0 0.06 seconds and let's say Let's see what the slots does. So basically, you don't have to import anything. You just have to use it each time. I mean, in each of your uh, scripts. So I'll have slots equals X and Y. This is the only thing uh, we need to add. But the inconvenient part is that you can't add new variables uh, just so you need to add it in the slots also in order to to reduce the, the memory usage so each time you will create a new variable you have to add it there so now let's change this to with slots and here the same and here the same and I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. And now we can basically run it. That's the all the things you need to, to add. Just add the slots here. And keep in mind that each time you'll create a new variable, you'll have to add it there. So if you are running now, this one we should see a reduced value. Not with much, but it should count anyway. Let's see. So we have 136, which is definitely lower, but the time is the same. So let's increase it with 10 millions, let's say. So we'll have 10 millions here and 10 millions here. 
Let's run firstly without slots. I think for 100 million it will be a much bigger difference, but it's more time to wait. So we can see, I think the result for 10 million is pretty obvious on how this thing works. Okay, so we have more than half of a second now. Let's see if we have any noticeable difference in the time. Well, it's not so noticeable, but for sure uh, the memory usage is noticeable and it, it depends on the cases where you want to use it. I think in the long term it, it, it counts, it really counts, depending on how big the project is. But I think it's pretty useful. Maybe it will help you in the future. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to have more videos like this. I'm introductive to, to Python. See you next time.